What if you could pull structured web data from anywhere automatically, reliably and in a format your AI automation workflow can use without dealing with messy HTML or anti-bot headaches? Well, that's exactly what Zenrose lets you do. And today I'm going to show you why it's must have for AI startups, data scientists and AI automation builders. By the end of this video, you'll see exactly how to integrate Zenrose into your workflow and turn the web into a business ready data powerhouse. Zenrose is a web data solution designed for business ready, integration ready workflows. It's not just another scraping tool. It's about structured outputs you can plug directly into your AI models, automation pipelines or analytics dashboards. Here's what sets it apart. Number one is structured outputs, JSON, Markdown, ready to use. Number two is reliability. It handles tricky websites automatically, no anti-bot issues. The third thing that makes it unique is integration ready. Zenrose works seamlessly with your AI, Python scripts or automation platforms. In short, if your workflow needs clean, reliable web data, Zenrose is the tool that belongs in your stack. Let's be real, AI models, automation pipelines and analytics engines are only as good as the data that you feed them. So if you're manually collecting or cleaning web data, well, that's painful because with Zenrose, you can extract structured data from any website. It delivers outputs in JSON, Markdown, so you don't waste time formatting. Also, as I mentioned earlier, Zenrose integrates directly into AI workflows, automation pipelines, or dashboards. So whether you are training a GPT-style model, building an AI assistant, or automating business processes, Zenrose saves you hours of current work. So let's just dive deep and let me just show you how Zenrose actually works and how you can use it for different use cases. So to start using Zenrose, just go to zenrose.com or just click on the link in the description. And after that, you can start your free trial for 14 days. If you just go to their pricing section, you can find all of their different packages. But just to test this tool, we can simply just start a free trial. So once you're signed up, this is the interface that you'll see. Let's just start with a simple task. Imagine if you want to pull product pricing from multiple e-commerce sites for your AI powered analysis, you can totally do that using Zenrose. I will just start with Amazon because it's always really difficult to scrape data from Amazon. So I have just entered this query inside Amazon, which is Osmo Pocket 3. And what I'll do, I'll just copy this URL from here. And after that, I can just enter that URL in here. And I can simply just click on this add domain. And after that, you can see it has just opened this page in here. And here there are different options. The first one is universal scraper API. The second one is scraping browser. So you can totally use this scraping browser as well, but we'll come to that later on. And then there is another option, which is called residential proxies. What are residential proxies and why you should use them? I'll come to that in a minute. But first, let's just go back to our universal scraper API. And here you can see my Amazon URL that I just copied from here. And after that, I can either use these premium proxies. So AI Web Unblocker is included for all requests. So you won't ever face any issues I mean, your IP will never be blocked and also by enabling this premium proxies, it will allow you to access geo restricted content and also maintain anonymity while web scraping. So what you can do while you have just enabled this premium proxies from here, you can just like choose a location, maybe United States or maybe United Kingdom or Germany. You can just choose any of these countries from here. But for now, I'll just click on worldwide. And after that, I can also enable JavaScript rendering. So why you should choose JavaScript rendering because JavaScript rendering is required to properly render dynamic content that might be requested by a browser after the initial page load. So that's why you can enable JavaScript rendering. Now regarding the output, you can get output in JSON format, in Markdown, in HTML, in screenshot as well. And in fact, there are other options for output as well, like images, links, headings, emails, phone numbers, metadata, and tables as well. So whatever sort of output you want, we can totally do that. But in our case, let's just, I think, go with auto post JSON. And after that, you can see or this request will cost only $0.025. That's amazing. And then I can simply just click on this run preview result. Also, you can choose options for integration code as well. So you can choose either Python or Node.js or Java, PHP, Go, Ruby. You can just choose any of these from here. There is this option for API as well. There is option for proxy and also there is option for SDK as well. We'll come to that again later. There is this API key as well that will help you in that integration code. So what I'll do, I'll simply just click on this run and preview results. I'll simply just click on that. And now you can see it is getting data from amazon.co.uk. By the way, as I mentioned earlier, Amazon can actually block you easily. I mean, it is not that simple to scrape from Amazon. And here you can see in just literally few seconds, it has just scraped this data and presented this data to us in this JSON format. So you can simply just click on download or just copy this JSON. And now let's just try a different kind of output, maybe in Markdown and what I will 
equal to, I'll simply just click on this run and preview results again. And now you can see it is getting data from amazon.co.uk in this markdown format. And there you go, you can see it has just fetched data from amazon.co.uk in this markdown file. And now I can just like use it wherever I want. You can see this is a huge markdown file that you can just like download or copy and then use it wherever you want. Similarly, let's just try this HTML output. I will simply just click on run and preview results. And now let's just see how it will present these HTML outputs. There you go, you can see in just literally few seconds, in just like two to three seconds, it has just presented all of that data in HTML format. Now you can easily integrate it with your workflow. You can feed the JSON output directly into your AI models or maybe in your automation workflows. Now there are several different options to connect your automation tools. You can connect Clay, you can connect make.com, also with Aniton, and also there are more options for integrations. You can just click on that and it will just open this document page and here you can explore all of these different options for integration so let's suppose if you want to integrate with make.com you can simply just click on that and now it is asking for amazon url let's suppose any sort of url so i'll just provide this url and now i'll just enter that url i'll click on add domain there you go you can see now i can actually add more domains and also i can use residential proxies as well again to avoid getting blocked so there you go you can see in just literally few seconds amazon.co.uk has been successfully integrated into your workflow and you can see the setup method was make.com and now for configuration you can just copy this api key from here and then you can just go to make.com you can just sign up and after that you can just like add this api key this is Zenro's API key. You can just like add it in here. You can just add it inside make.com and then you can just integrate this workflow in there. There is a very detailed tutorial as well. You can just open that and then it will just give you very detailed guideline how to integrate Zenro's with make.com. Here's the detailed tutorial. You can see it is giving a detailed step-by-step -step guideline. You can just like create a new scenario inside make.com. This is very simple and step-by-step -step guideline. You can just follow that if it is required for your workflow. There are a lot of other use cases like market research dashboards, competitor tracking, lead generation pipelines, price monitoring, and trend analysis. Essentially, any business that need web data structured for automation or AI can benefit. Now, you might ask, why not just use traditional scraping or open source libraries? Well, traditional scraping means messy HTML, constant maintenance, and of course, bot blocks. And in case of Zenros, the data is structured, reliable, and integration ready. It is designed for businesses and AI workflows, not just tech-savvy scraping experts. You get ready to use data without the overhead, making it a true time saver, and efficiency booster. So Zenrose offers flexible options for startups and businesses. And here's a kicker. They are sometimes running exclusive audience discounts. So it's worth checking the link in description. Whether you want a single API plan or full integration across multiple workflows, Zenrose adapts to your business needs. So Zenrose is perfect for AI startups needing structured training data, data scientists building dashboards for models, automation builders optimizing workflows, and the businesses that rely on web data for decision making. If web data is part of your workflow, Zenrose belongs to your stack. So that's Zenrose a reliable structured and integration ready solution for ai automation and business workflows if you want to try it out i have linked their website below and check if there is a special audience discount waiting for you thank you for watching this video if you have any further questions just leave your comments in the comment section and i see you next video bye bye